Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your AG photos go from looking like this to looking like this. So this is just a really easy and simple way to edit your photos and it won't take that long. We're not going to be using any fancy editing websites like Adobe Photoshop. We're just going to be using Canva. Also, thank you guys so, so much for 120 plus subscribers. It means so much to me. It seems like right after we hit 100, now we're at 120. It's crazy. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to be doing a Q&A soon. So if you have any questions for me or about myself or my channel or my dolls, feel free to comment them down below. And I'll be answering all your questions in the next video. Okay, so let's move on to the video. So first you're gonna wanna go to canva.com and you should sign up if you don't have a, an account. And then go to create a design and then you can just make it a custom size. But usually I go with YouTube thumbnail and then you should just drag the photo that you want to edit and put it right here in uploads or you can just click upload media and upload it. So here's the photo that I'm gonna edit. Um, as you can see, it's pretty dark and I think I'm gonna make it brighter and yeah, we'll make it look nicer. So basically to edit it, you're just gonna click on it and then click adjust. And then right here, you'll see all the settings. So since it's pretty dark, I'm gonna make the setting lighter and if you have a light, very bright photo, maybe you should turn it down a bit and make it go a bit darker because some photos are too bright. So after you've done that, um, I'm gonna make the contrast a bit higher. Contrast just basically makes your photo pop out. And if you make the contrast like um, in the negative section, I don't know how to put but if you go the other side, like this way, it'll make it pale, I guess. It'll, it won't look good. So for contrast, I usually put it for like 12 or 15. And then for saturation, I'm gonna saturate it a bit. Saturating it too much will look kind of fake. It looks nice, but um, I recommend like saturating it to maybe 20 or 25, but um, some photos need more than that, some photos need less. Actually, I'm going to be putting it on at 32. And then, right here, blur. Um, that's how you blur your photo if you want to blur it. And if you go the other way on this scale thing, you can make it sharper. And um, if your photo is blurry, that's a way to make it not so blurry. So um, I'm going to sharpen it a bit and I'm not going to worry about any of these other settings right here. And yeah, here's a before and after comparison thing. As you can see, it looks a lot nicer now and it only took me about like two minutes to edit it. So yeah, it's a really easy way and a really easy and simple way to edit your photos and it won't take that long. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and consider subscribing. And don't forget to comment down below any questions you have for me. Because like I said before, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. Thanks for watching. Bye.